Hello all. So in this tutorial, we'll model texture and light a 3D stall in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So we have a reference over here, and let's start up. Very first of all, let's take a plane over here. Let's take a plane. Let's go to the top view and. Go on to the top view. Let's go into AC extended and take a wall. So let's take a wall over here. So press R and scale it. Push it onto the top over here. Now, what we are going to do is. Let's convert this to editable poly. Let's go onto this view. Let's go into modeling, and let's add a swift loop over here. So, after taking a swift loop, go into vertices, push it over here. Go into polygons, and let's. Extrude it out a bit in this way. Now, the next thing over here is let's go into the vertices. Just push this over here. Let's go to the top view and let's create the box over here. So let's take a box over here. Right from the top view, and just scale this down. Just scale it. Convert to editable poly. over here let's take a rectangle over here very first of all we'll just take a rectangle take a rectangle draw a rectangle over here push it up and rendering enable in viewport and make it rectangular and you can increase its width and you can just go to the top view and you can just push it till here now the next step is you can just select this push it a bit up over here now we can also use a line over here so we have a line you can uh, initialize with a line over here into the line you can use a rectangle and reduce its uh, length and width over here make it less push it over here and let's duplicate this so select this three and again duplicate this over here press shift and select Control and select, sorry, and press shift and just drag this up to make a copy of it. Push it over here. Now let's go on to this uh, view over here. So as you can see over here, uh, as you will see that we'll take a line over here and just drag this in this way onto the top like this up and push it till here that's it so as you can see we have just created this stuff and increase its length over here 
So let's go on to this side view. Let's go on to the vertices. Select the vertices and just push this up. So you can uh, increase its thickness more. So you can increase its width. Press shift and drag and make one more copy over here. So we are just going to push this 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 a bit over here and just give a copy make a copy and increase its thickness to 44.4.13 uh, that's your width over here 4.13 that's the width so let's just uh, give a basic color to it out of it control a and just give a rough color so let's save the file over here first and just save the file so just save the file after that we can uh, take again a box over here before that what we can do is we can just take a make a beam or something over here so it's already over here we'll go into this modeling convert to editable poly take a swift loop and let's make a beam over here so you can just scale it and you can just push it more towards this press 4 for the vertices and just extrude it to very very less and just click ok that's it All right. so you can just create a beam after creating a beam let's go on to this view and let's take a rectangle box sorry and say auto grid over here so you can just create this uh, I'm sorry create a box push this out and increase its length a bit give it more of a width and length push it here so you can just scale it so if you want to edit it you can just edit it if you want it so convert to poly let's go to the top view select with the edge give to connects say ok connect to connect ok go into the vertices and just push it down like this so go into the vertices and press shift and drag copy it that's it all right so we can just duplicate this stuff in this way save the file all right now what you can do over here is like uh, we'll again go up over here let's go into the polygon use inset and let's extrude it up go on to this view and let's extrude it till here Just save your file. Now again go to the top view. Let's go to the top view over here. Take a box. Take a box over here. And just draw a box till here. Till here. and increase its 
uh, length now Yeah, we can uh, uh, select this and we can just attach it uh, this to let's go into the vertices and we can just push it back more and we can just push this till here that's it uh, convert to editable poly swift loop over here and here that's it all right so if you see this select this and this use inset a bit and we have option called bridge you can easily bridge this stuff save the file all right so let's save the file so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial Thanks for watching this tutorial.